This is Banjo, and today I'm taking a look at the Advanced Vehicle Respawn script by Iceman77, which can be used to respawn destroyed or abandoned vehicles placed in the editor in Arma 3. The script will place the vehicle back to its original starting position when respawned. To activate the system in your mission, simply copy over this initialization line which is provided on the forum page, which I'll provide a link to, and adjust its values with the values being delay for abandoned vehicle and delay for destroyed vehicle and both are in minutes. A light version is even provided and all you need to do is copy over the script information into a new script file called vehicle respawn.sqf. Inside the download are the script files. To copy them into your mission, simply add the initialization line which calls the script into your init.sqf file and then copy over the two script files. This can all be found in the provided example mission which comes with the download. Taking a look in the editor we can see we have no need for markers or anything like that. All we have to simply do is place down the units we want to activate the respawn system for and add the initialization line accordingly. I'll adjust the values to set up a shorter respawn delay and a shorter abandoned delay. And remember, these values are in minutes, so 0.5 is 30 seconds, 0.25 is 15 seconds, value of 1 would be 1 minute. Finally, we'll take a look in game and see how the destroy and abandon respawn functions work. I'll speed up time using time acceleration to make this quicker. One thing to note is that unlike traditional respawn scripts, this one only respawns vehicles, meaning you can use it in both single player as well as multiplayer missions. Next I'll take a look at the respawn function for abandoned vehicles. In this example I have it set for a rather low time, but in your missions you may want to set it for 10 to 20 minutes because there's a lot of times when you leave a vehicle unattended and you may not want it to respawn. I'll demonstrate this once more using an aircraft. As I take this helicopter 10 meters to its front and get out, we'll get to see how the abandoned respawn function respawns the vehicle back to its starting position. I'll leave a link to the forum page of the vehicle respawn system in the video description, and there you can check out any information about the system itself as well as find examples for the vehicle initialization lines.